Hello students and hello parents. Welcome to our 2021 Texas Public Schools Week virtual open house. Our teachers and staff have so much they would like to share with you. Before you see the presentation of your child's grade level, let's take a look at what our amazing Gonzalez Elementary staff have been working on. Hello, and welcome to our virtual guidance program. I am Mr. Thaglin. And I am Mrs. Foley. And, and we, we are, are your counselors, counselors at Gonzales Gonzales Elementary. Elementary. Our role as counselors is to help students cope with their feelings, solve problems, make friends, learn, feel safe, and make good choices. The social-emotional intelligences are an integral component to the McAllen ISD framework for student learning. Our district guidance program has integrated these social-emotional intelligences into each lesson. These skills will enhance our students' development to make them lifelong, successful individuals. Some examples to the topics that are discussed in our guidance lessons include solving real-world problems such as bullying and peer conflict. The power strategy is a tool we use to demonstrate assertiveness and solving interpersonal conflict. Another technique we incorporate in our guidance lessons is mindfulness. Mindfulness strategies help promote overall wellness by increasing focus and calm. These strategies help students become more aware of their thoughts, feelings, and body so that instead of being overwhelmed by them, they are better able to manage them. Each year, during the month of October, we celebrate Red Ribbon Week. We share with our students about the dangers of drugs and why it's important to make good choices throughout our lives, which in turn play an active role in making a difference in our community. Thank you for visiting us and learning more about our world-class virtual guidance classroom program. This is your music teacher, Mr. De La Garza. And this is your music teacher, Mrs. Gutierrez. Here at Grizzly Music Online, we strive to provide a fun, an inviting environment for your child in our music classrooms. Students are able to experience group work, presentations, and performances along with virtual collaboration. In music, technology is used as a tool for music exploration and creativity. Our music curriculum includes hand and soul fish singing and note naming for all songs. Games are used to teach concepts such as beat, rhythm, high, low, and loud. In music, our students are encouraged to explore their singing voice through fun and engaging songs. Sing your name and when you do, we will sing it back to you. My name is Adam. You got to sing it, Adam. My name is Adam, like that. Adam. Your name is Adam. Students are presented with opportunities to perform or participate in district level competitions, which include music memory, which strengthens their listening skills.
although this year has proven to be a bit different when it comes to musical performances, our students have proven to be proficient and skilled in the state's music curriculum. We look forward to making more memorable online musical experiences with your child. Our Gonzales PTO would like to say thank you to all of you, our dedicated and supportive Gonzales families. While this has been a challenging school year unlike any before, we've continued to come together as a school community and support our staff, our students, and our amazing teachers. Because of your continued support, our PTO has been able to purchase many items to keep our students, teachers, and staff safe. We've supplied the school with masks, face shields, touchless thermometers, and many other safety items. We've also been able to provide several meals and treats to our hardworking staff. This year is also Gonzales Elementary's 30th anniversary. 30 years ago, Gonzales first opened up its doors to thousands of amazing students and families who have now become a part of our wonderful Gonzales Grizzly family. And our dedicated principal, Ms. Hernandez, who has been the school principal since day one. So we thank you, Ms. Hernandez, for everything you do and everything you've done for our little Gracies. Thank you. We have over 300 families that have already joined our PTO. You are still able to join online at gonzalezpto.membershiptoolkit.com. We have several months of school left, so please consider helping by joining and becoming a member of our PTO. Thank you again for all of the support and continue to stay safe and stay healthy. We hope to see our Grizzly families again soon. Thank you parents and students for attending our very first virtual open house. Our staff seeks to equip our students with the skills they need to be successful in the 21st century. This year, our students are demonstrating their work through electronic writing, portfolios, projects, and digital artwork. In addition to academic classes, students experience live classes in music, PE, 
small group lessons, and counseling sessions. Our students are given the opportunity to learn in a vigorous learning environment and to succeed. Whether your child is at home or in the classroom, I believe that every teacher can and has provided a successful learning experience here at Gonzalez Elementary. Once again, thank you parents for attending our virtual open house. Have a good evening and remember, 30 years united. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's see what your child has been up to in their classroom, whether it be virtual or face-to-face. -face. At this time, your child's teacher will click on the respective timestamp you see here or in the description box below.
Sparks and my awesome class has been learning about extreme weather and tonight they are going to share with you about blizzards. Little raindrops get collected by the updraft above the freezing line. Once it goes up and up, it to the freezing layer, it starts collecting things and doing a loop. Once the loop ends, it's because the hailstorm is too heavy for the updraft, so it falls down. Hailstorms occur mostly during the summer because during the summer it is so hot that it evaporates so much water. Hailstorms happen everywhere. Hell Alley is where hailstorms happen a lot. You can be inside uh, I mean, stay away from windows uh, because they might break. Hello everyone, my name is Iris Gutierrez, and I would like to introduce to you my atmospheric scientist. We're learning about tornado. We prepare for a tornado by gathering supplies and finding shelter. A uh, here, a uh, tornado is a bigger storm than a hurricane. El primero empieza el agua tranquila, normal. Luego, luego aire caliente entre húmedo empieza a subir hacia arriba y eso dura con, con, con unas cuantas horas. Luego lo que pasa es que se hace un punto. Luego el aire empieza a subir hacia arriba, todavía sigue subiendo hacia arriba. Eh, y luego lo que se crea, el punto se está... Se ¿En el agua? que es caliente, normal, que es caliente. Tienes que agarrar mucha agua y, y comida de lata y tienes que poner bolsas de arena afuera de, de la puerta para que no pende de la categoría. Las cinco es la más... Mm, peligrosa. Los vientos pueden destruir casas, carros y árboles. También pueden ver mm, inundación y pueden destruir casas, edificios y calles. Okay, my name is Mrs. Silva. This year I have a Grizzly research team that would like to share what they have learned all about extreme weather. We are the extreme weather research team. Meteorologist is a weather scientist, someone who studies the sky. I search all about tornado, and tornado mostly happen in Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley is in the middle of the United States. Tornado makes when warm air and cold air mix together to make, uh, to spin around and to make a funnel cloud and when the funnel cloud touches the ground, it makes a tornado. This is uh, winter storms. They can cause whiteouts and you can see the blizzard. It has a lot of snow and wind. We're learning about hurricanes. Hurricanes are very dangerous. Hurricanes happen over the ocean. Hurricane season is in June, July, August, September, October, and November. I'm going to tell you what I like.
most of them was business class. I learned how, how to read better and I also um, I also like math class and reading class. I really like the classes that she gives me and I also appreciate that she makes me learn new things but then um, thank you. What I like from first grade is my teacher and my friends and my school and go Grizzly. Hi, my name is Sebastian and my teacher is Ms. Stevens and I'm a first grader and what we do in reading group is um, rhyming work and what I learned about first grade is math, reading. If you want to get ready for first grade, read, read, read. Bye. I'm going to teach you a little bit about first grade. What did you like the most about first grade? My amazing teacher, Miss Stevens. What's something you learned this year in first grade? How to make an in making inferences. And what would you tell a future first grader? That first grade is the same as kindergarten, but it's a little bit harder. Bye. First grade is fun because we learn about math and graphs. And we go to PE and we go to music. And what I like is you spending time with Miss Gonzalez. And have fun. First grade is fun because we learn a lot of math and we learn to read. I learned in first grade was the hour and time. I would tell a future first grader to be happy in first grade. It is the best. What makes first grade fun? That I go to a new school and I have a new teacher and we do activities. Tell me something you have learned in first grade. I learned to read more. I learned to write more and do math more. What will you say to a future first grader so they can be ready for first grade? To be ready, to be smart, do math, reading, and writing. I'm Haley Hogan, a future second grader. Hi Haley. What was so fun about first grade? Well, I think first grade was very fun because I got to make new friends. What did you learn in first grade? I learned about fraction and timelines. What should any first grader in the future know? Well, I think they should know how to read and write and be prepared to make new friends. Bye. This is one of the things that makes first grade fun. I learn a lot and the learning is fun, really fun. I've learned to be a better kid. I learned how to be better in math. What I would tell the future first grader, so here she is ready for first grade. I'll tell him that never be scared because first grade is the best grade ever. During first grade, I learned to be a problem solver. I will tell the, a future first grader to be prepared for a wonderful year full of new things. I will tell them to write a lot for they can get ready for first grade and second grade. All the activities in first grade make first grade really fun. I've been learning how to read and how to tell time. We learned graphs, coins. I learned how to use Google Classroom. We 
limits are in first grade is that inventors are important because their inventions lead to, lead to a future. You pay attention to your teacher and you think in your brain to know how you do your work. This is what I'll tell a future first grade. Don't get mad or don't get frustrated. Just keep trying. Be great. Be awesome. In summer, you can practice reading to start. Listen to your teacher and sit straight. Do your work and don't do bad stuff. Okay, you do bad stuff, you get in trouble. Work hard and don't give up. In this story, it was in which I read about a Cinderella named Juan and her name is Strong. My favorite season is summer because I get to play with my friends and I and I eat and I can eat ice cream. Mi favorita es la estación del año es invierno porque es mi cumpleaños. And my favorite thing about third grade is music class 
because we learn about new composers and we hear the music. My name is Kimberly. I'm from third grade, and uh, I like to do assignments because you can learn about everything on it. And Fun Friday. Classmates and my teacher, cause um because they always make me laugh, and I always love being in school. Even is that actually doing online assignments are fun, mm, and playing with your friends online isn't hard. But isn't really that hard. During distance learning, I found out that I'm really good with technology. Students use breakout room to cooperate with each other, almost like being in the classroom, and they can interact and help each other complete their work. The teacher is able to pop into each of the rooms to monitor how the students are doing and to offer support. Students use Flipgrid to do recordings showing things that they've learned or working on projects. The hard push went faster and further, and the slow push went. Hello, everyone.
everyone, and welcome to fourth grade at Gonzales Elementary. We're excited that you're joining us today, and we can't wait to show you all of the wonderful things going on around here, from writing to science and everything in between. We are busy creating lifelong learners while having a great time doing it. Join us on this adventure as we take you through our very first virtual open house, remote learning style. For reading, our fourth grade students enjoy reading novels in addition to our textbook stories. Currently, we are reading Esperanza Rising, a story about a young immigrant from Mexico and her family's trials along the way. We also enjoy reading other novels to enrich our students with different writing styles. Vocabulary is another area near and dear to our hearts. Our students have become masters at showing their vocabulary development through slides, either by drawing pictures or importing them from Google. As fourth grade teachers, we want to provide as many learning opportunities for our students and foster that love for reading. As you probably know by now, fourth grade is a huge writing grade level. We usually kick off the year with a wonderful unit on figurative language, which includes learning about synonyms, metaphors, idioms, personification, hyperboles, and so much more. The students really enjoy all of the fascinating activities they get to create while learning how to become better writers with the use of figurative language. We also get to practice using them in our compositions, which the students have come to enjoy. They've learned how to create quick lists and use kernel essays to organize their writing, along with amazing editing and revising skills that help them add that perfect touch to their stories. Becoming wonderful authors by the end of the year is definitely one of the perks of being a fourth grader at Gonzales Elementary. This year, one of our very own Gonzales Elementary Grizzlies was named District Spelling Bee Champion. Way to go, Manali. I'm Manali Lumba, a Cal ISD Spelling Champion. I decided to try out for the Spelling Bee because I have a natural talent. During the competitions, I was calm and confident, but I was also nervous at the same time. And finally, measurement using the customary end metric system. In geometry, I learned to classify angles and two dimensional figures. to solve multi-step problems with equations. And finally, measurement using the customary end metric system. As fourth graders, we read and learn about Texas history. We start with nomadic groups traveling from Asia into Texas. We move into Native American tribes in our state who hunted buffalo and roamed the land freely. We move on to explorers who arrived from countries such as France and Spain to settle this new distant land for their country. We research and discuss Texas's independence from Mexico and how the battles of the Alamo and Hassan Jacinto shaped us. How challenges such as statehood took us from an independent nation to becoming the 20th state in the United States, to Texas's growing pains and what Texas is today, the greatest state of all. In fourth grade, science students are becoming more sophisticated in their ability to explain and describe scientific concepts. As they make observations, they learn to make predictions, as well as connect the topics they are learning about to their own experiences. 
Each year, students use their skills to conduct a science experiment. Then they take part in our science fair. This year, it was one of our very own fourth grade students who went on to the district science fair and placed first. What a wonderful achievement. I am Iden Planton. I am the 2019 and 2020 school science fair district winner. Um, I, Gonzalez has led me to a new and fun way in, of learning. And sometimes we even add a little bit of magic. so much for joining us from our fourth grade team and we look forward to seeing you one day soon we hope that you enjoyed our presentation bye bye, bye. bye. Uh, let me hear, Vince Guerra, what time would you want to go back to and why? I would probably want to go back to when we get a Doctor Strange movie because I want, I want to go to the movie set in a Doctor Strange because he's my favorite Marvel character. All right, Rookie? lucky to be in class because my teacher is very nice and I can at least listen to human voices. Second, I can feel social because I at least can see my friends again and meet. And third, about fifth grade. I haven't been here that long, so this is just gonna be based off this year in online. First of all, I loved K-Bear. It was a great way to start my morning with something to look forward to on Mondays. And it was just really fun before we watched K-Bear. Like, oh yay, K-Bear. I love the jokes of the week in K-Bear and it was super fun. And I actually was able to be in one K-Bear, which was really cool. Number two, 
PE and music was so fun, or at least the teachers made it fun. Like we would do cahoots and games and then fun like Among Us videos in PE. And that was just really cool because who doesn't want to learn in a fun way? Three is